a lot of fans, me included, are fascinated by all the components, all the moving parts. You know, an F1 race is a very, very intricate, complicated thing. All of those interactions with the drivers, the team, changing the cars, all of those sort of subtle design changes, I find really fascinating. As a player, to come in as a team principal, I think that is a really exciting opportunity. In F1 Manager 2022, you take on the role of team principal. A team principal is really at the heart of a Formula One constructor team. Management games are all about making key decisions that have meaningful impacts, and that really rings true to the role of the team principal. I think for the fans playing this new game, it's going to be a fascinating insight to a different side of Formula One, because we all think of the drivers, and I think the engineers have a reasonable profile. But I think through the game, you're going to understand all the work that needs to be done to build the relationships between the drivers, the engineers, the factories, so everyone knows what they're supposed to be doing to create the foundations and build the substance for a team to be successful. The team principal is the person that, that holds an eclectic bunch of people together and finds a way to make sure every single one of them is motivated to the fullest extent of their ability. It's a very special person that excels as a team principal. Traditionally, for racing games, you are the driver. This is really um, all about team management. For the first time, it's letting players experience what it means to be a principal in F1. The player gets to choose a Formula One constructor team of their choice. They can decide you know, how they're going to uh, develop their team. There's multiple different avenues for you to kind of spend your budget. Each one will kind of define what kind of team principal you are. The board is the players boss effectively, so they're who you're going to answer to throughout your career as a team principal. They'll set you a target every season in the Constructors' Championship where they want the team to finish, and meeting or failing that target will have a large impact on their confidence in you. We really want the player to feel all the rewards and all the challenges that come with being the team principal, from hiring a new driver, hiring a new member of staff, going through defining what the car philosophy is going to be and how you develop that car. That's all encompassed in our gaming experience. Everything that you decide uh, is going to have an effect further down the line. So there's a number of different ways in which you can kind of try to develop your team both over the season and over a long term. You might decide to uh, improve your headquarters itself. So you can upgrade and refurbish and maintain facilities and they will and bonuses to the rest of your team, whether it's improving the rate at which your car parts are developed or improving your driver's development. You might decide to focus more on staff more directly, so you can hire staff members from other teams, rival teams, you can scout them. They're gonna hopefully have an impact on your ability to develop your car and, and win the races. The car development really is very flexible. There are many different ways you can approach it, you know, whether it's trying to kind of iron out weaknesses in your car as it is, or emphasize strengths so you can go for kind of podiums at particular tracks or researching for next year's car. As the team principal, you're going to be making all the key decisions. So within the race itself, that's things like setting the strategy for the race. So when is the car going to pit? What tires are you going to fit in those pit stops? Obviously, things are always changing. There could be cars that you're not expected to be in front of you. Maybe the weather changes. So you're going to have to be adapting that strategy throughout the race. Usually there's you know, something that you didn't count on, there's some unpredictability there, or there's some opportunities to you know, gain an extra tenth of a second on your lap time. We want the player to feel like they have the opportunity to, to gain those fine margins. Everything to do with how you manage your tires during a weekend, how many soft, medium or hard tires you have going into the race. That's really going to make a difference in this game as well. The other key decision that's part of your strategy during the race is when the driver is on track, giving them commands for kind of their pace management and managing their fuel flow. So using those to maximize your strategy that you've planned prior to the race. After the race day, you're back at the headquarters. You've got an inbox full of emails. You've got important decisions about which car parts you develop, which staff you hire and fire. So it's a broad experience. 
the thing that's going to really excite me and hopefully a lot of players when they play this is the depth of the game that we've created. It's not sort of basic tactics. There's a whole uh, depth and a backstory to the game that the player can explore. The key thing with a game like this is that realisation that you've got to make those decisions. Strategic decisions that happen across the races and during the races. And how those dynamics can change in literally a few minutes. That's what really sort of drives me, I think, makes me excited about this game.